Hello and uh, welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp.us SketchUp for us uh, Today we'll uh, talk about uh, something special, something uh, artistic and also related to the architecture and furniture as well We're gonna talk about Charles McIntosh and we're gonna try to do one of uh, his uh, chairs, uh, they are typical for uh, Macintosh uh, designer. Uh, so, anyway, uh, if you want to find more about uh, Charles Macintosh, again, you can go on Google. Uh, he was a famous uh, Scottish uh, artist, architect and designer. Uh, he lived uh, 100 years ago. And uh, if uh, you search on uh, pictures you'll see some of his art but uh, what we're gonna try to do today is uh, some of his furniture um, the they are easy to do uh, in SketchUp especially the chairs like this and I will show, show you how uh, that can be done in SketchUp so uh, let's go to SketchUp uh, I will not build this time uh, in the same time as uh, I'm doing, but uh, I do have different steps of a chair which I build. So uh, when you want to start building a chair uh, in SketchUp, uh, usually I'm starting with this element here. So uh, we build a box on the side and we move those uh, things on the toward the interior and we're gonna have the track as well. Um, what is important for for this part of the chair, just to have a quick example, saying you use the right dimension uh, and you push this up and all that stuff, um, you're gonna use the offset and again you you can offset to what dimension you like. But if you want to push this up as I push it uh, here, and if you try to move this face only is not gonna move on the vertical. The reason why is because it's still connected to the other faces. So the easiest way to do is actually to build those uh, side uh, lines. So when you have those side lines built, this plane, this uh, element from here is gonna be able to move also on the blue axis and is gonna create as you can see here, it's going to create sort of a pyramid. So uh, this is the easiest way to do the cushion of the of the chair. <coughs> and the other thing uh, also which uh, you can do when you build your chair, you can do the the legs of the chair. For this particular one, if you want to have it uh, taper, how you do that fast, you just build a quick uh, leg here so you have a circle you ex to push it up to the dimension what you need and the easiest way to make it taper is just to select the bottom and with a scale you're gonna scale that uh, surface by clicking alt option or control on windows alt option on mac and as you can see you can uh, do it like 60 percent uh, usually I'm using 0.7 or, or 0.6 and it's giving you a very nice uh, paper uh, look and that is good for uh, for the round uh, furniture and of course the top one you can uh, you can move it up or down uh, depends where you want to to move it and in the same time if you want to do other uh, forms you can extrude it up and you have uh, different uh, round shapes for uh, for the legs of the chair. The most important one uh, for this particular chair is actually this nice symmetrical uh, look of the chair. So if you are looking to the chair here, you're gonna see they have different patterns. Uh, also, you you can see it's symmetrical. They they have uh, four uh, studs, sort of, for uh, if you want five uh, holes on the top of the chair. And uh, again, you can uh, 
use different uh, uh, variation of this uh, this model. But what is important, um, first of all, the chair has to have a small curvature, so you have to build one of those, so you can uh, see uh, the support on the back. And if you want uh, to build the other uh, uh, elements behind, you need to divide this arch, so you, you need to have a little bit uh, of uh, preparation done, basically decide how much spacing you want to have on this uh, direction and that is dictated basically by the spacing on the other direction so you, you divide the arch on uh, how many segments you want to divide in this particular case you divide it in five places because you have five uh, holes and that dimension is also uh, multiplied on the uh, vertical operation as well. So this is how you basically you do your uh, complex shape which is on the top of the chair. The other way you can uh, just uh, build uh, just build a box and you move it up but it's preferably to just uh, modify the element and if you want to push up uh, inside of this element you make a component and with double click you just move one of this and you're gonna see all the others are moving uh, up as well so that's uh, that's the trick on uh, this particular uh, chair and of course at the end you just unify everything and you're gonna have a nice uh, chair like this one here and you can uh, do 3ds uh, very fast and uh, easy so it's a nice design uh, for people which are building uh, furniture in uh, SketchUp. Uh, it's a good exercise. And again, we can uh, do different variations. Uh, that means you can uh, play uh, with something uh, like this. If, uh, if you want to have this one, you can just uh, modify the design, the initial design, by adding elements uh, which are uh, copied uh, and again you have a variation of that chair instead of having only on the top you can have it for the entire surface and again you can uh, you can have uh, for example uh, you can have only the the middle one and so on so uh, you can uh, you can play with this uh, it's uh, quite dynamic and uh, interesting to see different shapes for the for the chairs by just uh, modifying one element and you search for the best design which uh, this chair can have. But of course uh, this is uh, Macintosh uh, style, this is Macintosh uh, design, you need to pay attention to that as well. Uh, my recommendation is to find your own design but uh, this is a good study and uh, you can uh, see how the things were built. Uh, on the vertical also this particular chair have the leg um, rotated and tapered toward the top as well and also it's uh, scaled four times the dimension which we have it initially. It's all about proportion uh, that is actually the success for uh, design and uh, the you need to pay attention also the to the relationship between different elements uh, on your construction. So anyway, I hope you liked this uh, small uh, tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and enjoy it. Thanks.